So hi, Microbe Hunter here, and today I'm gonna to do another staining video. I want, want to show you how you can make the chromosomes of cells visible, and today we'll be using onion cells. And as a matter of fact, the root tips uh, of uh, onions, because uh, they have a lot of dividing cells, and therefore you are able to see um, a lot of mitosis stages and chromosomes. I want to give you a short uh, word of warning at the beginning. We'll be using a stain called carmine acidic acid, and that's a pretty corrosive substance especially um, if you get it on your microscope objectives or on metals because it corrodes the metals and it also damages the microscope objectives because of the acid uh, you also don't want to get it into your eyes so just be extremely careful um, and uh, I'm just gonna show you all of the steps and uh, we're just gonna get started while it is possible to buy already made solutions, uh, it is also possible to make it yourself here. Uh, this is E120, is also known as Carmine. Um, it's a food coloring. And here is a homemade uh, solution um, of the stain. Um, generally, I would say it's uh, not uh, much uh, more expensive if you actually buy ready-made solutions. I'll be using uh, onions uh, directly from my refrigerator. Some of them already have started to grow and there are some small tiny root tips visible. Now, I generally do not recommend that you use those onions uh, because the roots are growing too slowly and there are too few dividing cells in these root tips. So I would say that you leave uh, out those onions for a couple of days, uh, put them into a a glass of water um, and uh, then use root tips that have already grown a little bit uh, longer. This is how I'm picking them off. I'm just using a sharp knife. Uh, maybe you can also use uh, small uh, scissors uh, to do that. Um, they break off quite easily and then you have to separate them. You have to cut them in half um, so that the stain is able to reach all parts um, of the root tip. If you don't have onions uh, that grow roots, you can start uh, to grow them yourself by simply placing an onion into a cup of water like this. Here I'm now separating the root tips uh, into two halves uh, and this makes sure that uh, the root tips um, are sufficiently small when you put them on the microscope slide of course and also it allows the stain to reach all parts of the root tip because as a matter of fact that was a small problem. Yeah, it does require a little bit of patience and a steady hand. Um, and uh, once you have uh, separated uh, them into two halves, you have to put them um, into the stain and you have to heat heat it up uh, for a couple of minutes. Now um, I'll be using a water bath to do that. Some people um, he uh, heat them up over a Bunsen burner uh, directly on the microscope slide. You gotta be careful that you don't overheat it. And you have to be careful uh, that uh, because of the boiling, um, then you have the, the acid uh, flying around and you have to be a little bit careful here. So I think that a water bath is a little bit safer. I, I left it up here in, in the water bath for about five minutes. I placed the lease lid loosely on top uh, so that I do not have any pressure buildup. And now this is another interesting part. The root tips have now been stained and uh, are now soft. Uh, because the acid breaks down the cell walls um, of the cells and this makes it soft. Um, and now I'm placing the root tip as it is on a microscope slide. I have to put a cover glass on top and then I have to compress it. That's uh, now the, the critical part. Um, so, and uh, you put uh, another tissue paper on top then. Yeah, I'm testing it and you see that it is already quite soft. Um, another tissue paper has to go on top of it. This also protects your thumb in case the, uh, the cover glass breaks. Um, that, so that is uh, something that you don't want. It has to be sufficiently soft that it's easily compressible and then you really press down vertically. No horizontal movement. I shifted a little bit horizontally. This was not good. Okay, um, so because uh, shear forces are not uh, not not good, uh, just press down vertically, um, and then what you get is, is you get a thin one cell layer thick film um, of cells. So let's try this again here. Okay, you place it on top, um, tissue paper over it, which absorbs the excess uh, stain, and then you press vertically down, um, and then you have a thin layer that you can put directly under the microscope. The first impression was a little bit disappointing. A lot of cells, these are the cluster sh shaped structures, these round structures, but actually not really stained. Um, ev evidently the ink, not the ink, <laughs> the stain did not reach all parts of the onion root tip and then all of a sudden a patch of stained cells. And if you look carefully into those cells, you're gonna see this, the, the red uh, nucleus uh, here much better. Um, at a higher magnification and focusing back and forth uh, because the carmine stains directly the DNA here as well. Very nice uh, to see the different uh, the nuclei of the cells. 
um, and uh, I was actually checking uh, quite a few of these cells and unfortunately was not able to find anyone that was dividing. Usually around 25% uh, to 30% of the cells um, in a growing root, root tip should be dividing, but none here, I think because uh, I took the onion directly out of the refrigerator, so it didn't quite work. And you can see that there are patches of stained cells, so uh, maybe I should have left the root tip in the um, stain for a slightly longer time and give it more time to diffuse into the root tip to stain all parts. Yep. So here again, a region where you can see it quite nicely that the nuclei are stained. Yep. And uh, we're going to try the whole thing again now with onions that uh, have uh, much longer root tips because maybe we're going to be a little bit more successful. Well, and so I did place the onions into uh, water for a couple of days. The roots did start to grow a little bit faster. And I also tried a new method of heating up uh, the specimen. Here I placed a drop of the stain on the onion roots, heating them up over a candle. And I also always added a new stain when it evaporated. This also worked, but I think I still prefer the water bath. Um, I, do not, I did not press quite as hard as I used to. And I was successful after some time. I did find some chromosomes here in the center right now those long structures here these are chromosomes in metaphase and uh, here um, again two cells next to each other dividing or could it be an anaphase uh, cell I'm not quite so sure about that yeah here's a little bit of high school biology in any case uh, I did not find uh, quite as many dividing cells as I anticipated I was expecting around 25% of the cells dividing uh, at least I've seen onion roots uh, that had that many dividing cells but uh, not in this case, uh, but yeah, I was a little bit successful in any case and I was happy that I was able to, to find a few um, chromosomes here as well. Um, there was another interesting structure that I found, uh, this spiral shaped structure that I just want to show you now. This is so-called xylem tissue. Um, this is basically, these are long tubes uh, where water is being transported and those spiral shaped structures, they basically give uh, reinforcement and strength I was quite happy uh, to also have seen this. It was quite long, a little bit surprising to me as well. Well, I think uh, the staining procedure did work quite well and I can highly recommend uh, that uh, you also try it out. And uh, yeah, maybe you're a little bit more lucky in finding some more dividing cells. So, okay, uh, I, that's it. Uh, I hope uh, that it was interesting for you, uh, that you enjoyed the video. Please do consider subscribing um, if you liked it. Um, I also have other microscopy uh, YouTube channels, so please do check the links in the description below. Um, also do consider visiting my Amazon affiliate shop uh, if you're interested in microscopy related products. Yeah, so far that's it. Wish you all the best. Happy microbe hunting as always and see you around next time. Bye-bye.